Hello, we're going to think about colour mixing today. Um, this is the colour mix chart that Betty made this morning and I'd like to just talk you through it. There are three colours that are main colours. Um, they're called the primary colours, three. So there's yellow, blue and red. Those are the clearest, purest colours. And from those colours, we mix all the other colours in the rainbow. Um, I think um, uh, this chart shows it really well because it's got the yellow and the red mixed and it makes orange. So um, there's Betty put orange there. And then the yellow and the blue make green and she's put the green there. And the blue and the red make her purple. I think this, this, um, these two colours might have made uh, dark purple because of the type of colours they are. We used, um, Bet oh, I didn't, Betty Moot used um, a watercolour palette like that. Um, you can get a different purple from different colour, different um, shades of red or, or, or blue. But then Betty mixed, in these ones, she mixed more red into this side and more blue into this side here. So you can see a bluey purple and this one is the same, bluey green to a yellowy green and a reddy orange to a yellowy orange. And that's how the colour wheel is shown there. You can look up colour wheels on your on the internet and print one off and um, and do it. Or you can draw your own. We drew this, we, Betty drew that. Um, uh, and uh, of her, we, she, she just used one of these protractors to make the circle. Um, but you can do a rough one. It doesn't actually matter as long as you're mixing the colours. So I'm going to mix these colours on the on the paper here with watercolour pencils this time just to show you the colours. So here's a red, I'll put that in the middle. And these are pencils that go um, watery if you put water on them. So they turn into watercolours. You can see that. Um, every time you use your brush, you must wash it off so that you don't mix the colours by accident. And then I'm going to put my blue over here. This is a watercolour blue. And yellow over here. Oops, that didn't work out. I have to use just that. And then maybe I'll show you mixing... Uh, Yellow, if you've got the lighter colour, this one we'll have to put more in than the um, the darker colour to make it an easier mix. Let's see if that mixes well into an orange. Yeah, a bit of a sludgy orange. And then put in this red and blue together. So the blue is darker in this instance. I'm going to do less blue and more red and see if that mixes nicely. As you can see, if you don't have watercolour um, pencils, you can just use the pencils to shade together. And then in, we'll do a colour wheel. We can put another one over here to make the orange, can't we? No, no, it will be that to make a green. And then what would make an orange? No, we've got the orange. We've got the purple. We need the green, don't we? So if we put... Um, a bit of blue on that yellow. That should mix into a green. Oh, maybe I didn't clean that off. No, maybe a bit more blue. It's going to be trickier to do that. Sort of works with the watercolour paints. So we've got a red, orange, and then red to purple, and then green. You'll have to have an experiment with that. I think it works better just doing the water, doing the actual um, things together. That looks quite greeny. We could go over it again and see if it works better. This is just in case you don't have watercolours. And then that red, red and yellow. Let's see if it works. get the idea can't you but 
bit more yellow on the top. Colour mixing with pencils. How interesting. You've got blue and a blue and a green. So you just play with those three primary colours and see which colour you get. Did we do blue and red? Try and make a purple. Maybe it will work better if you did it really hard. Kind of works. Let's see what they look like with the water on the top. A bit better. There's an orange. This one should be purple. Hmm. Interesting. If you put more of each colour in you'll get a greenier one or a, pur a bluier one or a purplier one or whatever you experiment. I would go experimental crazy and then um, if you want a more formal picture you could try one of the colour wheels and then you'll see how they um, mix um, uh, in a linear way or a, yeah. Hope you enjoy that colour mixing. Um, go experimental and see which other materials you could use. Maybe oil pastels or um, pastels. You could just you could just start um, mixing and experimenting. And those are your three main colours to play with. Do you know what happens if you mix them all together? Have a have a have an experiment. If you mix them all together and see what you get. Bye bye.